Do you want your gameplay to go from this to this? Well, if so, you've come to the right place. Because I've, and I'm sure some people watching this can relate to this, just been scrolling for hours trying to find a way to double your FPS, and I'm going to show you some tricks that actually work. So, let's get into it. Also, if you guys could like and subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. We're close again on 50 subscribers, and I'd really like to get there, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just make sure you're on a desktop, and uh, we're going to install Park Control. So, what you want to do is just go in your uh, browser, it could be Chromium, it could be Opera, it could be Firefox like I have or whatever, and just search up Park Control. And then you want to go here. And then you want to click download. Uh, it just should default. You don't have to like mess with the 64-bit version or whatever, stuff like that. So just click download. And um, you just want to open this up and double click this. And just go through this whole installation thing. I already have it installed, so yeah. Alright, so once you have Park Control all installed, it should look like this. It, you should just be here. Um, just copy my settings real quick. Um, put Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, Frequency Scaling DC. Put this all to Disabled. What this will do is it'll make sure that your CPU is utilizing like its max performance at all times. Like you can see, I have 8 out of 8 cores being utilized. And... Um, um, I think if you go here, it should say something like, um, installing the power plan. So, what you want to do is, you want to, um, install the power plan and make sure, uh, CPU settings for power profile, make sure it's set to bit some highest performance, and then do these settings, disable all these, and then, uh, check these two boxes, and then I think, you, yeah, you need the pro version for this one. So, don't do that unless you want to pay. Oh, I got redirected. But, yeah, so just click OK. And then, as you can see, activate power profile. Make sure this is set to bit some highest performance. And then, if you search up power, choose a power plan. Make sure this is set also to bit some highest performance. It should some be some like down here somewhere. So yeah. So you want to go to home. Just search up home download on your uh, on your thingy, like on your browser, and just go here. And then, uh, yeah, just download this thing. And then, uh, you want to double click it. And, like, you know, um, like, you know, just go through the installation process. Um, I already have it, so I'll just, um, cut to it real quick. Okay, so once you do that, you should be on this page. Now, what you want to do is just go through and apply all these tweaks. I did not apply the AMD graphics one because I don't have an AMD graphics card. I have an NVIDIA graphics card. But just uh, optimize device affinities. You can apply and just go through and apply all of them. And then, um, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, go here and uh, apply all these. And, um, yeah, if you have AMD, um, get apply this one. If you want to know which kind of graphics card you have, um, you can see by going um, in your, uh, no, that's not the right one, going in your task, or the, the, the uh, there's an easier way, just going, so if you want to see, you can just go control, shift, escape, and that should open up your task manager, and then you want to go in performance and then you can see your GPU mine is a GeForce uh, 730 and you should be able to see if it says Nvidia then you apply the Nvidia if it says AMD you apply the AMD tweaks so yeah just do that and restart your PC and I'll see you guys when you're done with that okay so once you do that you should be on this page now what you want to do is just go through and apply all these tweaks I did not apply the AMD graphics one because I don't have an AMD graphics card. I have an NVIDIA graphics card. But just uh, optimize device affinities. You can apply and just go through and apply all of them. And then um, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, go here and uh, apply all these. 
and um, yeah, if you have AMD, um, get apply this one. If you want to know which kind of graphics card you have, um, you can see by going. Um, so if you want to see, you can just go Control Shift Escape, and that should open up your Task Manager, and then you want to go in Performance, and then you can see your GPU. Mine is a GeForce uh, 730, and you should be able to see, if it says NVIDIA, then you apply the NVIDIA, if it says AMD, you apply the AMD tweaks. So yeah, just do that, and restart your PC, and I'll see you guys when you're done with that. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to discuss is overclocking. Now, overclocking is, um, uh, you want to, like, like know what your GPU, because if you push these two settings a little too far, then, um, like, it's not going to be good for your GPU. Um, I researched my specific graphics card. Um, I'm on MSI Afterburner here. I'll leave the link in the description. But um, yeah, so these are ideal settings for my graphics card, but they're probably not for yours. So if you just go, the best way to overclock in my experience at least is if you press Control Shift Escape and then go to your GPU, and you see mine's a GT730. And then you wanna um, just like go on YouTube. If you go on YouTube here, um, you wanna search up just um, GT730 or overclock guide or whatever your GPU is. Like for example, if you have a, I don't know, an AMD Radeon 480, then search up AMD Radeon 480. And then again, come to escape performance and then it'll t say your GPU right here so depending on what your GPU is then uh, they'll have I do something for I watched this video I use this one but um, there be there's gonna be ideal for your GPU now uh, we'll move to Minecraft settings okay guys the next thing we're gonna be doing is Minecraft settings I'm a lunar client I would recommend you do using lunar client this guide will be for um, First and foremost, the Minecraft video settings and the settings built into the Lunar Client. I would recommend Lunar Client, but if you want Badline, you can. This just won't be a guide for Badline specifically. It'll be a guide for the Minecraft settings and Lunar. So first of all, go in Video Settings. Um, graphics, I recommend having it fast. Uh, um, just the best. Chunks 8 for like, you know, if you're on high pixel and stuff, 8's the best. UI skill, I recommend having a normal. Or you can have this on whatever you want, it's not going to impact FPS. Brightness, you turn it to max. Alternate blocks, um, whatever, doesn't impact FPS that much. VBoss, I'd recommend. I I like to keep it off because it boosts my FPS, but it'll really just depend. And if you go in details, uh, clouds, I'd recommend you turn off. Cloud height, uh, minimum. Trees, I'd rec I turn them on smart, but you could turn them on uh, either fast or smart. I would not recommend fancy. Um, rain and snow, turn that off if you're on Minecraft. Sky off, stars off, sun and moon on if you're using custom sky, because I use custom sky. Show capes, just keep that off, because that'll be like the default, like Optifine capes. Fog, just keep this on off and uh, minimum. Yeah, 0.2. Translucent blocks, uh, put that on fast, and then. Keep this on on. I guess keep this on fast. And then turn entity shadows off. This is a big one. Turn vignette on fast. Turn this alternate blocks off. And these two settings really can affect your FPS. Swamp colors definitely turn off. And smooth biomes turn off. Keep those off. Now we go to our um, animations tab. I'd recommend turning, if you're playing on Hypixel, turning everything off, putting particles on all, because I like seeing my particles when I PvP, but that's just me. If you don't want that, then you don't have to, but that's just what I recommend. Tr turning all of them off, and then turning particles to all. So in the performance tab, some of this stuff can really help your FPS. For example, fast render, render regions, they'll boost your FPS. Turn smooth FPS on, because, um, That'll like cap it at like 60 or whatever. And um, for um, like smooth FPS, it like, keeps your FPS at like like super, super stable, like as a stable 60. But for example, like uh, you want it to like get pretty high instead of just like keeping it at like around 
60. So I, I definitely keep this off. Smooth world kind of really hurts your FPS, so keep that off. Fast render, keep this on. Fast math, on. Chunk updates, keep this on one. Anything more will hurt your FPS. Dynamic updates, keep this on. Render regions, on. Lazy chunk loading, on. And smart animations are on. Now for perf on, oh, we already went there. Uh, for quality, uh, your map levels, um, you can, you should turn this off, but I just like to have it on. If you would like to have it on too, it's just like kind of just smooths your game out a little bit. Put mid map type typed in nearest though, so um, like the smoothing won't be like super in your face. Anti aliasing, turn off. Um, uh, atmospheric filtering and anti aliasing both turn off. Like these are settings that just make the game look super unnecessarily pretty. Clear water, turn off. Better grass, off. Custom fonts, on. If you're using a texture pack like I am. Connected textures, uh, if you're using a bridge overlay, you should turn this on, but my bridge overlay doesn't require this. So, custom sky, um, for example, I'll pop up an image of, like, a custom sky and a default sky. Uh, but I just like custom sky. But, if you're really struggling for FPS, you should keep it off. And then, uh, custom entity models, turn it on, because, like, Hypixel has a bunch of custom entities. Immersive textures, turn this off. Custom GUIs on, custom items on. Natural textures turn off, custom colors turn on, and yeah, I think that's the whole performance tab. Okay, so that'll just about do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you did or not, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Now, uh, go to your other section, and um, you could just keep full, full screen on. Full screen really uh, helps your FPS, or if you want to do full screen. Okay, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, let me know in the comments um, if I missed anything, or um, if you found this helpful, so yeah, catch you guys in the next one, bye.